Okay, so let's see how well you actually understand basic math. Because if you have pretty strong basic math skills, this should be a very easy problem to solve without the aid of a calculator. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. We have 2 times parentheses 10 plus 16 divided by 2 times 8 and parentheses. All right, now this is a multiple choice question. Let's go ahead and take a look at our answers uh, here. So A is 22, B is 148, C is 208, and D is 2240. All right, so once again, the only rule is no calculator, but feel free to use that supercomputer, uh, which is located right up here in between your ears. That is far better than any artificial intelligence. That's actual intelligence, but if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the problem one more time. We're going to erase everything so you don't get distracted. Now, the right answer is one of these choices right here. So if you are totally lost, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I have no idea what's going on. Well, go ahead and just take a guess. But again, uh, what we have here is two... Uh, this right here, this two, this is, I guess I'm, gonna, I'm giving you a little bit of a clue here. A two outside of a parentheses, this means multiplication. So this is two times parentheses, 10 plus 16 divided by two times eight and parentheses. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is B, 148. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and a plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence because indeed you appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of the order of operations, all right? And uh, these things right here in math, like uh, an addition symbol, uh, this right here is division, this is multiplication. These are what we call mathematical operations. And if you didn't get this problem right, matter of fact, if you uh, did this problem and maybe you answered with this or this answer or another answer, that just means that you took the wrong order, right? That's not a big deal. It is a very common misunderstanding in math, but it's easy to fix. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into this problem right now. And you definitely want to pay attention because if you got this wrong, that means you are not understanding something very critical about basic math. All right, so again, right here, uh, we can get all kinds of values uh, from this problem depending on the order we take. So, for example, let's say I'm just in the mood to do multiplication first. Like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I want to multiply first. No big deal. So we can go 16 divided by 2 times 8, which is what? 16. So uh, you might say, well, I want to do division next. All right, so 16 divided by 16 is 1. So now we have 10 plus 1. Okay, and then uh, you're going to you might say to yourself, well, let's go ahead and just do this math right here. So 10 plus one is 11 and two times 11 is 22. And you're like, oh, I see my answer. There it is. Unfortunately, that's wrong. And then all of you are like, I don't understand. I did all the math right. I know I multiplied. I, you know, did the division addition uh, right. Everything was right. Yes, indeed, that is true. The problem is you took the wrong order. OK, so we need to understand what is the correct order. Uh, when we have a math problem with multiple operations. Well, that brings us to this topic right here. That is the order of operations. This is a huge thing in basic mathematics. And uh, even uh, those students that are in more advanced math courses make these type of errors, right? So the, again, if you're struggling with mathematics, uh, it's a good chance here, uh, well, there's a good chance that you are struggling with this. Okay, this is one of these things that people think they understand better than they actually do. But you can see here I have this lovely little acronym here. This is what we call PEMDAS. This is going to be the secret to understanding the order of operations. Remember, we have a math problem here with different operations. So again, in mathematics, an operation is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, even things like powers and parentheses and the like. We need to know the right order 
and this little phrase right here, this acronym, is going to give us the right order. So let's go ahead and take a look at PEMDAS. And uh, for those of you that uh, may never have heard of PEMDAS, this thing has been around for ages or some sort of variation like it. But before I explain to you what these letters are, let me give you a, a little mnemonic, a little memory aid here so you can uh, remember this. That is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase anyways. All right, so these letters here are obvious. This is an acronym, right? So P stands for something, E, M, D, A, and S. But this is a checklist, okay, to figure out the correct order of operations. And the way it works, uh, we're going to start from the left and we're going to go to the right. All right, this, so this is a checklist from left to right. Okay, so let's talk about what this P stands for. So P stands for parentheses. So if you have parentheses in your math problem, this is where you're going to start. But it's not just these type of parentheses. It could be this kind of brackets like this or these kind of squiggly brackets. Basically, these are what we call grouping symbols. We can group numbers together, 2 plus 1 plus 7. I can uh, say to myself, you know what, I want to group these numbers together. Well, this is a grouping symbol. Of course, these are parentheses, but I can also group these numbers together like so with brackets. Okay, Again, grouping symbols. That's what the P stands for. Now, one thing you need to know about this step is that uh, a problem can have multiple parentheses. So you can have parentheses, then brackets, and then other brackets like so. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, where do you start with all these parentheses? Well, you always start from the innermost. So you do what's inside the parentheses, you finish all the math, and then you just keep expanding out. All right, so that is what the P stands for, parentheses. Now let's talk about this E, okay? So E stands for exponents, but you need to think of this as, as powers. All right, so uh, when you have a power, like 2 to the third power, this little 3 up here is called the exponent, and this 2 is called the base. So 2 to the third power means what? Take 2 and multiply it by itself three times, which, of course, is 8. The entire thing is a power, but this little 3 up here is called the exponent, so E stands for exponents. So if you have power situations in your problem, uh, you're going to go immediately uh, to them. Now, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, why, uh, you know, they should have just put that as a, a P there instead of an E. Well, you know, some people could say, you know, is this uh, parentheses and then do parentheses again. So, you know, to be clear about it, it's E, all right? So exponents, but that means power or powers, excuse me. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and tell you what the rest of these uh, uh, letters stand for because this is where people get really confused, okay? So, again... We have P, parentheses, E, exponents, or powers. So M, D, A, and S. All right, so M, uh, this stands for uh, multiplication. D is division. A is addition. And S is subtraction. So most people would be like, oh, I get it, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I could do these problems because I'm going to do all the multiplication, uh, but, you know, and I'm going to get all that done because that's the M. And once all the multiplication is done, I'll take care of any division in the problem. Then once that's done, I'll do addition and subtraction. Yes, indeed, that's how it seems like it's working, or that's how, that's how it seems, uh, you know, if I didn't give you any more explanation. Because I did tell you this is a checklist from left to right, but unfortunately, that is not the way it works, right? And this is where people get really upset with math. They're like, this is why I don't like math. Uh, there's always, you know, some sort of catch. Well, let me go ahead and explain it, uh, this right now, because this is a common misunderstanding in mathematics. All right, so when it comes to PEMDAS, the order of operations, the next thing that we're going to do is multiplication or division. All right, so we are going to go from left to right, but this is a group. Okay, we're going to consider multiplication or, the word is or, so multiplication or division. Now, our acronym is PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, but we could actually have P-E-D-M-A-S. So we could reverse these letters here. Now, why is that? Well, we're going to do multiplication or division, whatever we see first from left to right. This is a very, very common source of confusion with uh, people that are doing mathematics. So if you see multiplication first from left to right, do that and then division. But if you run into division first from left to right, you need to do the division and then multiplication and addition and subtraction work the same way. All right, so we only have one acronym here, like PEMDAS. We're not going to flip it around, so you need to be able to interpret this thing correctly. All right, so that is a quick uh, review. 
uh, hopefully a, uh, an extensive enough review uh, for you to understand the correct order of operations. So now let's go ahead and get into this problem. So we're always going to be thinking of PEMDAS in our brains. We're gonna be like, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm ready to take on uh, this problem. I'm always going to keep this in my brain. As we used to say in the United States Marine Corps many, many years ago, our brain housing group. <laughs> uh, you know, it just kind of, uh, it always surprises me how much stuff I remember from many, many years ago. But uh, anyways, uh, hopefully, you know, this PEMDAS thing is something that you're going to stick into your brain housing group or your long-term memory. All right, so PEMDAS. All right, so we have this problem. Uh, we have all different sorts of mathematical operations, so we're focused on this word right here. Okay, so P, do we have parentheses? Indeed, we do. So what does that mean, you know, in a problem like this? Well, it means that we're going to focus on doing the math inside of the parentheses. So it's like a problem within a problem. Okay, so that's what we have. And now we need to ask ourselves, E, do we have any powers? Well, we don't have any powers, so we're ready to move on to the next step is, uh, hey, do we have any multiplication or division? Indeed, we do. All right, so here is our PEMDAS situation. We're working inside the parentheses. There is no powers. Uh, do we have multiplication, division? Yes. Now, what do we see first from left to right? We see the division. Okay, so we see the division first, so that's what we have to do. Now, I can tell you right now, uh, thousands of thousands, tens of thousands, you know, some of my videos get like millions of views. So maybe it's, uh, you know, half a million people. A lot of people made this error in this problem. They did multiplication because they thought they were PEMDAS order of operations experts. They're like, yes, yes, I remember this from uh, 1982 when I used to have my Mohawk haircut. I know what I'm doing. Well, again, uh, you know, this is one of these things that people are really confused. So division, you got to be really careful with this. So 16 divided by 2. This is where we have to start multiplication or division. We have division here, multiplication here. we got to do this first because that's what we see from left to right. Okay, so hopefully this point forward, this problem isn't going to be too difficult. So we have 16 divided by 2 is 8. So you want to write that step out. When you're doing math, you want to uh, take one step at a time, be nice and neat. You don't want to get, you know, lack for a lack of a better word, lazy about it. The worst thing you can do is try to do all, you know, all this math in one step. You're going, you're going to, you know, be scribbling things out. You, you need to be able to see, you know, what you're doing. So take that one step. 16 divided by 2 is 8. But are we done with the, the parentheses? No, we are not. So we need to continue on working inside the parentheses until we're, until we're basically done. We're down to one value. All right, so here we have addition and we have multiplication. Hopefully, all of you are saying, hey, when it comes to PEMDAS, uh, multiplication definitely always trumps addition, and you would be right. Okay, so here is what we need to do next. Again, parentheses, we're still inside parentheses. There's no powers. Uh, do we have multiplication and division? Yes, we took care of division. Do we still have any multiplication or division left? Yes, we do, All right? So we're on that step right here. Okay, so eight times eight. Uh, hopefully you all remember what that is, but uh, let's go ahead and take the next step and figure out what eight times eight is. But uh, before we do that, I need you to do this, and that is to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Now, I love being on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for like 10 plus years. I think I have like 3,000 plus videos and millions of views. It makes me feel really good because it makes me feel like maybe I'm actually helping a lot of people out there, uh, you know, uh, not to give up on math. That's what my channel is about. I'm trying to take the complex and break it down uh, in a way that you know, pretty much anyone could understand. But it does take time. That's why I take a problem like this and I kind of really explain it okay I explain it nice and easy because those of um, you know if you get to a point where you're like hey I don't need all the explanation Mr. YouTube man just give me the answer show me the steps real quick listen uh, you know this is your the the critical part of learning anything is always in the details and that's what people miss because they're in a rush so if you're trying to learn math in a quick manner that's not a good recipe for success so stick with it be patient because if you can understand truly understand one problem well, then you can do a ton of other problems, okay? But if you're going through one problem real quick and you're like, ah, I don't understand. Let me try another one. Let me try another one. Me try... That's not good. It's better to take your time, master one, and then you can knock out the rest of these problems. That's how you learn math. But anyways, 
this is what this channel is about is to think take things in a nice you know con, um, you know nice pace uh, so everybody can feel confident about learning math by the way if you want to check out my full main math courses and really get my best instruction you'll find links to those courses in the description of this video and for what we're talking about here the order of operations you might want to check out like my math foundations course or my math skills rebuilder course all right so let's go ahead and finish this problem up because there really there's not really much to do here so we're still on that first step right so when you think about pemdas p-e-m-d-a-s this p part here isn't done until you're finished with the what uh uh, doing everything inside the parentheses. So this is still kind of like an open step here. There is no powers. Uh, we took care of uh, multiplication division. We took care of division. So we got to finish up multiplication. 8 times 8, of course, is 64. But again, we still have stuff to do inside of our parentheses. So 10 plus 64 is 74. And there's some basic multiplication. 2 times 74 is 148, which, of course, is the right answer. Okay, so again... You know, don't feel bad if you got this problem wrong. Matter of fact, I'm actually happy that you got this problem wrong because if you got this problem wrong, that means there was, you know, something that you didn't understand about basic mathematics, right? And hopefully now that is fixed. That's the whole idea behind, review, you know, kind of challenging yourself, checking for understanding. And, uh, you know, uh, some of you out there might be, you know, parents or grandparents or, you know, an, uh, an aunt or an uncle, whatever the case is. Uh, and, you know, with this knowledge, you can help someone else. OK, so uh, I hope you feel uh, feel empowered enough to help out, you know, somebody who's younger than you or someone who's struggling in math. And be like, hey, let me see. Maybe they're working on the order of operations and maybe something from this video can, you know, help, uh, you know, uh, you guide them to do these problems correctly. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.